It's time now for Fantasy Football Today for CBS Local Sports. I'm Jamie Eisenberg. That's Dave Richard. That's Chris Towers. We're going to give you some starts and sits for week number eight. Dave, you got the quarterback position. Who are you going with? I'm going with Andy Dalton to bounce back from that terrible game against the Pittsburgh Steelers last week. He's in a get-right spot against the Indianapolis Colts at home. This Colts defense missing three defensive starters, two in the secondary, and they don't have much of a pass rush. So that offensive line that's been a problem for Dalton shouldn't be a problem in this game. He's going to get John Ross back. He's already got A.J. Green. Tyler Croft is making plays at tight end. I think Andy Dalton has a big game. And I'm staying away from Roethlisberger so long as he's on the road. He's playing against Detroit. Lions coming off of a bye. I know that Big Ben has a chance to put up some good numbers, but when he's done it this year, it's been 20 or 21 fantasy points. It hasn't been a big blowout type of game. So with limited upside, I'm sitting them down. Chris, there's a questionable backfield in Oakland, but you like one of their guys to be a good start for you this week. Yeah, I think it's a tough matchup against Buffalo. I just look at Jalen Richard is the most talented back. In this backfield, it doesn't matter if Marshawn Lynch is suspended. Wow. I hope the team realizes that. Heath Cummings has been saying that all year. I agree with him. I think Jalen Richard, going back to the start of last season, has been the most productive guy in this back when he's gotten the opportunity. I think he's going to get 15 touches. That's not a huge workload, but I think it'll be enough for him to get going. And a guy that I don't think has that kind of workload, Tevin Coleman has been really up and down this season. He's someone who needs to break a big play to really be valuable, and I just – he hasn't been doing it. And then you look at the injury report. He's on there with a knee issue. He only played 19 snaps last week. I worry that that's going to limit him again. I'm worried about Tevin Coleman. Dave, you got a wide receiver in Philadelphia that's been producing at a high level and is not named Alshon Jeffrey. Or Zach Ertz. <laughs> it's Nelson Aguilar, and he's really bounced back this season. He's playing in the slot, and he's making great things happen each of his last three games. He has a touchdown each of his last three games, four catches. And he's taking on San Francisco. That secondary is a mess. I think Nelson Aguilar has a big game. Keep him in your lineup if you've got him. And sit to wide open. Last week I thought he would do well. He was at home. Jacksonville was the opponent. Guess what? He stunk. This week, he's on the road. Jacoby Brissett worse on the road than he is at home. If you can believe that, there's actually a worse from Jacoby Brissett from what we've seen at home. It's been when he's on the road. We know that Cincinnati defense is better than what they showed last week against Pittsburgh. I think T.Y. Hilton struggles in week eight. Is it safe to buy back into Jordan Reed as we look at the tight end position, Chris? I think so. He's someone, he's so talented that as long as he's going to play a big role and it looks like he's finally starting to get healthy, I don't think he's ever actually healthy. It's just varying shades of not hurt. <laughs> right. But I think he's on the positive end of that spectrum right now. We saw him finally get going last week, and that was with Niles Paul and, Vern, and uh, Vernon Davis still having pretty decent games. I think if those guys get off the field even more, Jordan Reed's got huge upside. And another guy who's starting to come off the field, Cameron Brake. I know he's going to get red zone work. Jameis Winston loves him down there. Got a red zone target last week still with O.J. Howard having two touchdowns. But O.J. Howard had his biggest role of the season. I think that's starting to separate. He's going to be the primary guy, Cameron Brait. He's fine, but he's in that Kyle Rudolph range of guys that you're just hoping gets 40 yards in the touchdown. If you can get someone like O.J. Howard who's got more upside, maybe a more reliable role, I'd do that. That has been your starts and sits for Fantasy Football Today on CBS Local Sports. Good luck with your fantasy teams in week number eight.